paid me $117 last month for stuff like this. <laughs> it's almost a sixth of the cost of the camera. That's all. <laughs> The Sears of airplane stuff. Totally. Yeah. Galleys and lavatories and coffee pots. And okay, so galleys. hours so you get 10 hours you get two hours to turn the airplane 10 hours back the other way you get 20 hours out of that airplane a day and that's where you really make the money so um, what we really do this for is uh, when we're configuring a galley we pull that galley up in 3d and we make it full size on that screen so you can walk up to that screen and say slow your which this was good it was over here and that's when we get into chain traffic and that's where we hate that because then we got to pull engineering back and redo it. You know, we've got to get shop orders to change all that stuff. It's, it's just a mess. So the object here is if we can get it right the first time, then you just make the first code one and then all the rest of code four is <laughs> Yeah, if, you, if a customer wants an airplane today, the earliest position we could offer them is 2020. Right. So that's why we're not selling many airplanes, frankly. It's because they, yeah, they can't predict that far out. So we, ought, we you will hear in the news some other airlines dropping out. I wouldn't worry about it because we have airlines that are circling, waiting for them for that opportunity. So they're just burning up their cycle time and what they have there. Yeah, yeah, here, yeah. Uh, it's a yeah. When the pilot has to come out and go to the bathroom, the flight attendants have to stop what they're doing. They have to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's 
that was pretty nice looking. Yeah, but that, you mean in terms of tight? Yeah, in terms of tight. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you go nine abreast, it gets yeah, it gets pretty That's crowded. Pretty bad. Yeah. yeah, right? It's up to the That's still pretty cool having it in an airplane. Not gonna lie. Well, that's how they build these things. I didn't know they said it was all right. <laughs> I know it's all in that wood. <laughs> and styrofoam. Oh, wood's composite. Styrofoam and wood. Building, I know that. <laughs> I know that one. <laughs> so this is like the Levitz of airplane parts now. You had the, the Levitz, you know, the furniture store? Yeah. You had the Sears earlier, now you got the furniture department. Yeah. <laughs> so what we have is 16 suppliers, like I said, you have to pick from economy seats in the catalog. How's it feel? So like? we've got BD Aerospace uh, from uh, Ireland, Timco from Los Angeles, Ricardo German, Sigma French, and uh, wow. Weber from uh, Texas. So that's economy seating. Economy seating. That's a premium economy seat. That's a seven of breath. So if business or in economy you come nine of breath, eight of breath, either three three three, two four two, or three two three. And that's it comes in two three two. Right, two on board with three in the middle. Uh, and then these come in um, two, two, two. <laughs> okay. So if you look at the sidewall, you can see I can turn on and off the sun. Turn on and off the reading lights. Those are the two things that affect the mood lighting the most. If you look at the sidewall, there are eight different textures to pick from. Right? Anybody want to guess what the most popular texture is? You can see the name of the textures at the top. Mosaic. It is. That's it. That's number one. Number two? Anybody? Let's see if he's two for two. Mosaic. I don't know. I think it's that one up there. No, actually, it's Lexer. The best I can figure is, is, is those two textures kind of look like, like their fabric. Yeah. Right. It kind of, they, they try to match up with the texture of the of the fabric That's and the come, texture of the wall. Now, do you find that different customers prefer, like, uh, the Saudi customers prefer mm -hmm. something totally different than the Asian customers? Um, yeah. Right now, it's a it's a whole new it's a whole new at, uh, dimension that they've never played with. So most of the airlines are kind of sticking conservative and sticking with what we recommend. Yeah. I think as they get more comfortable with it, they'll start to branch out and go wilder and bolder. So what we do is we, we pin up the curtains on the on the rods. We um, we pin up the decorative laminate on the wall here. We have them dress up in their uniforms. We wrap the, the fabric around the seats. We oftentimes will pick up the actual seat in the other room and put it in here. And we'll just create the entire cabin, tablecloths, napkins, food, anything and everything. Close the, close the doors and then we go through the standard scenes. Um, if they want some minor tweaking, we can do that. If they really want to go majorly off, off, you know what we offer, they can hire Teague. We we just don't have the time or manpower to to do all that work. Um, so, and they uh, Cutter is going that way, um, but it's it's just programming. So this is a typical boarding scene. This is a typical uh, daytime taxi out. Here's a nighttime taxi out. Oftentimes, what you're trying to do at nighttime is to see outside. So the sidewall lights really get in your eyes. So this is a nighttime takeoff where the, the sidewalls are very dim and we have just a white white light above. 
This is a typical nighttime cruise where some people are trying to sleep but others are getting fed. So you put the lights in the aisles but not on the sidewalls. So those that want to sleep don't have light, you know, light in their eyes. Um, daytime, that's not an issue. So this is a typical daytime cruise scene. This is my favorite. This is called Cruise Warm, where you start introducing color on the sidewall. We'll be out in just a second. Um, once you get into meal service, you have to get rid of the blues. Blues are cold colors. If you hold a steak up to a blue light, it turns gray. <laughs> but if you hold a steak up to this colored light, it turns nice and golden brown. So if you ever go into a restaurant, you always see warm colors. Absolutely. Um, never see cold colors because it really makes the food look funny. Um, typical, here's another um, alternate meal scene. We also have a low meal scene. So maybe you want bright for meal and you want uh, dark for after meal. This is typical uh, transition to sleep. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to turn off, sequentially turn off the lights to create a sunset effect. Sidewall going off. Cross bin coming from outboard, uh, from inboard to outboard is going off, and we're going to use the outboard to inboard to create a sunset effect. See how we're kicking in the blue twilight sky, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, and then uh, the cross bin light on the on the bins is got a bunch of red on it, and then as the sun goes down, that was a lightning strike. As it's feel lightning. As the sun goes down, we'll leave the outboard side into a kind of a twilight blue for about seven seconds. Now this is a minute long, typical transitions are five or more minutes. Then the outboard side, we're gonna go into a very deep blue. And then the inboard side almost completely off and that's our static night scene. We have a sunrise scene where the sun rises across the top of the airplane and down the sidewall, which is kind of cool. And then we have three pure whites. We have a low, medium, and bright. Wow. So um, this is actually an RGBW system, red, green, blue, white. So to get this intensity, we have an, every fourth bulb is a white. It gives us that brightness. So that's our uh, that's our. It comes down this way, other than going up. So if your luggage does move. Don't have to worry about it. Go through and push on all the bins before takeoff mm -hmm. because they have to make sure because sometimes they'll pop open on takeoff. Mm -hmm. Don't have to do that anymore. Any red showing, it's not latched. So all they have to do is step into the cabin, look down the length of the airplane. Anything in red means that bin is not latched. And watch what happens when it does. It snaps shut. So it eliminates one step in the pre prepare for takeoff for, for so we. Uh, it, it's interesting, I've, we've done all the Chinese, and you will see the, all the Chinese look like this except for one, and it's Hainan Airlines, so when you see Oh, yeah. oh, nice. Oh. Right. And here, you know, we don't have any pain. Violet and Copilot could rest. Actually angled at the pillows. Upward, so the plane's flying, so uh, it'll be laying level. Seat, little entertainment. Cool.
surprisingly bigger than you think. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. I've learned that you have to maintain um, that the bigger the airplane, the nicer the crew is. You can't offer something here that you don't, that isn't better on the 777 and, the, and better on the 477 because when they, they move by seniority, they move by airplane and the size. So as they, as they you know, get um, higher pay, they move up into a nicer, a bigger airplane. Really, before you leave, anybody that needs uh, that 